on June 7th, hundreds of public school parents and students rallied for an end to excessive high-stakes testing. No more testing! It takes away from like fun time that we could be doing, like be outside having gym, having fun science, and it doesn't make much sense to do that. It takes away our instructional time. Think about everything else we could be doing while we're testing. And children are not a test bar, we want to learn. Their target was Pearson, one of the world's largest for-profit education companies. After already taking weeks of the company's tests earlier this year, students are now undergoing field tests, whose results are only used to help Pearson determine questions for future tests. But some, including Queen's resident and mother of three, Rofa Ali, are saying enough is enough. I'm here today because my son had just taken uh, the science test. I believe it was on, on Monday he took the test, a test that, that I, you know, I didn't know about until he took it. And you're telling me he's going to sit there for all these hours to take this test and in the end he's not even going to get graded for it? Why are you putting my kid through this? And the night before he couldn't even sleep because he was thinking about it. Oh my God, my, I have to take this science test. And then in the end you tell me, it doesn't count towards anything, that's just wrong. In protest, over 60 schools across New York are refusing to administer the field tests. Fred Smith is a retired Board of Education senior analyst. There's a problem with uh, what they're doing because um, in this time of year, kids are not motivated to take tests. What's going to happen with these tests is after they're taken and scored, the results aren't going to be representative of uh, the target population which is supposed to take the test next year because they're trying to use these field tests to develop items so that they can put them on next year's tests. So they're going to build next year's test on misinformation because kids aren't taking these tests seriously. In response, Pearson said that field tests are vital in determining reliable exams for future years and that angry parents should be targeting state education officials because they determine the testing schedule. But activists at the rally did also single out public officials, including New York State Chancellor Merrill Tisch, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, to President Barack Obama, for increasing testing for public school students while sending their own children to elite private schools that don't emphasize standardized tests. We want an enriched curriculum where kids get to read, get to think critically, get to make music, who are going to do science projects. That's what's happening with the Cuomo twins. That's what's happening with Obama's children and even Merrill Tisch's. Jane Hirschman is with the group a Time Out from Testing. And when high stakes tests were brought into this state, the private schools were told they had to do it. And the private schools got together and the independent schools and sent a letter to the state and said to the Board of Regents, we will never ever do this because it's thumbs down curriculum. It's not how children learn best. The rally comes at a time of growing concern that students are taking more and longer exams than ever before. After promising to curb the practice, President Obama has expanded testing through programs like Race to the Top. There are now plans to expand it even further by testing students as early as kindergarten and in subjects like art and gym. Bob Schaefer of the education nonprofit Fair Tests says this means today students are learning less. There's very little real teaching and learning going on. Students are merely trying to figure out how to beat the test. Uh, which focuses on dumbed-down curriculum and very basic skills um, in order to try and boost scores at it by any means necessary. Because of the focus on boosting test scores, kids really don't learn how to prepare themselves to do well in college or in careers where the game is not about memorizing isolated facts and regurgitating them back by bubbling in the correct answer. So though focusing on testing may boost scores in the short run, it actually damages educational quality and equity across the board for many students. More rides on the results of these exams than ever before. They determine everything from whether a student is promoted to what schools are considered failing and will be closed and what teachers will be fired or keep their jobs. Professor Mark Nason of Fordham University says the negative effects of increased testing disproportionately impact low-income students of color. As bad as these tests are in any school, 
they're not going to totally dom erase everything good going on in high-performing schools. But in the Bronx, where every school is in fear of being closed, in those schools, that's where test prep dominates everything. What you're doing is actually magnifying the difference in atmosphere between high-performing public schools and public schools in poor communities to the detriment of the schools in poor neighborhoods. And you're giving those kids a constricted, restricted, repressive curriculum. In, and, and it's going to magnify the class and race differences in educational opportunity. Pearson has also expanded its influence to other areas, including adult education, through a partnership with the nonprofit that administers the GED. The GED serves as a last chance for students who have dropped out of high school to get a degree. Paul Wasserman has spent the last 21 years as a GED instructor at Lehman College in the Bronx. The GED test up until now has been run by a nonprofit organization, and Pearson is going to be raising the cost of the GED in order to make a profit, and that's likely to both uh, put pressure on low-income students to pay for the GED test or pay more in New York State. The test is free by law. Um, it's going to put pressure on very tight state budgets to have to give more of their money to Pearson and less to programs. And Pearson is moving to have monopoly control of all aspects of the GED. We also have concerns about the specific way that Pearson is going about redesigning the GED exam. They're keeping it very secret. They're, the whole process by which they became a partner in a for-profit enterprise has been secret. We don't know what the financial arrangements are. And we're very concerned that the test is going to make it harder for people to earn a high school equivalency diploma, which is a very crucial gateway to job opportunities, to higher education, to job training. And it's part of squeezing out opportunity for low-income people. Despite the recent protests and sweeping cuts to education spending across the country, private companies continue to receive hundreds of millions of dollars to develop new tests. In New York, where school budgets have been cut by more than 12% in the last four years, Pearson has a $32 million contract. In Texas, where $4 billion was cut from the state education budget, Pearson's contract is worth nearly half a billion dollars. Advocates like Professor Nason says education spending is being siphoned away from the classroom and into the pockets of big business. Think of all the money that could have been used to, you know, lower class size, to hire community people to work in the schools. Um, you're, what you're doing is uh, you're taking funds away from the classroom and funneling them into private corporations who are make you know, for profit. Um, so the test industry also has a very negative effect on schools by draining funds that could be better used for other purposes. Resistance continues to grow across the country. Now nearly 540 Texas school boards and a dozen in Florida have passed resolutions demanding an end to high-stakes testing, which they say is, quote, strangling learning. A similar national resolution has nearly 10,000 signatures. Advocates are also calling for a boycott of Pearson and other large for-profit education companies. The Department of Hispanic Studies at the University of Northern Colorado has canceled its contracts with Pearson in protest. Meanwhile, public school parents and students have vowed to continue the fight back against excessive testing and corporate influence in education. Reporting for The Real News, this is Jessel Noor in New York.